This is Honor Gaming. Um, today, guys, I have a really special content, a very expensive, <laughs> expensive content here. Uh, guys, as you guys can see, my kill shot has switched its weapon. Um, let me just show you what happened. Uh, if you guys watched the short that I uploaded yesterday, you would know. But, uh, guys, I don't know how unlucky you can get, but it, it did happen to me. Right, I think I spent all my luck on the Light Rider skin. Okay, <laughs> guys, I had to open the entire event crate rush to get my disc launcher 12. Um, so basically, I you know, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Uh, it came out on the last roll, so uh, you know, I've heard some stories where someone got it on their first roll and stuff. You know, congratulations, but for me, guys, unfortunately, <laughs> it took me the entire event. But now, the question is. Uh, is it what worth it or should I say was it worth it for my you know uh, purchase technically um, So I'm going to actually instead of telling you straight up what my review is of the weapon I'm going to show it to you guys. All right uh, in, in regards to my updated team um, As you guys can see my Panther is now equipped with carbine 12 instead of missile rack 8 now I will give, make a new content for my updated dream team in the coming days, okay? In the meantime guys, let's go straight into it and I really want to share with you what kind of weapon is this launcher 12? So uh, let me guys just tell you that I do have this launcher 8 and I was completely not impressed. In fact, I thought that this launcher 8 should not even have that uh, yellow glow, whatever you call it, right? SR quality. I don't even know what to call that, but I just completely thought, hey guys, this is like a, this is almost like an April Fool's joke. You know what I'm saying? Now, here comes this launcher 12. And before I give you anything verbally about what this weapon is like, I'm just going to show it to you guys. So here it is, guys. Let me move in and I will show you what this weapon can do. Here we go. I'm pretty confident with my upgrade level, so I'm going to go in. Here we go. One is down. That one is a kill shot. Dash him out. All right, here we go. I see two over there. Here we go. Do you see my aiming, guys? I am completely out. Just, just out aiming them. Throwing it to the side. Here we go. Let me just knock him out with the dash. Oh, missed him. All right, here we go, guys. Guys, I just really want you to focus on the actual damage that this is providing. Okay, that is the focal point of this weapon that I want to let you know. Here we go. All right, and how I'm aiming it. As you guys can see, I'm completely not locking on to their direction when I shoot the, the weapon. Here we go, let me dash him out first. Out, out. Here we go, weapon on the juggernaut. Sure, he's not upgraded, but that damage is deadly. Look at this, guys. All right, so now you, you guys are already looking at what's going on here, so I'm just gonna go straight to it, guys. Look at that massive damage. It is incredible, guys. The aiming, you know, it's, it's you know, this, this game already has your auto-aiming, but look at that damage, guys. Look at how it curves, all right? This is like a pitcher, you know, in a baseball game level curveball throwing okay so guys i'm just gonna go straight to it this is the new weapon for my kill shot officially not just for this content i have switched from carbine 12 to disc launcher 12 guys the range is pretty nice the curveballs are pretty nice okay and the damage is so great and you know what the best part is it works so well with the melee dash uh, cooldown. The skill cooldown and the reload time is almost identical. So after I dash and I'm finished up with my, my disc launcher, I'll be in the process of reloading, right? And my melee dash will already be available. So you guys know how much I like my kill shot with Carbine 12. You guys know how much I've, you know, complemented this combination. Now, you, if I tell you right now that I played one game after purchasing the disc, disc launcher 12, or should I say obtaining it, with a very expensive price, and I just immediately, without a second thought, switched my weapon on kill shot permanently to this launcher 12. That should explain everything, guys. And you guys know, sure, I can tell you right now that I probably am the foremost uh, professor and researcher on the mech called kill shot. And I can tell you guys right now, I don't think there is a better weapon currently. 
that is out there that is better for kill shot than this launcher 12. And in, I'm talking about this in every aspect, okay? Um, sure, the range on carbine is better, okay? Look at that, guys. Look at the curving. It's nuts. Look at the reload time. It's like five, six seconds, okay? I see a Lancer there, there, guys. Watch me get him. Watch me get him. You see that? <laughs> you guys saw that, right? That was nuts. Look at the damage on this. Look at my reload time on my skill and on the... Um, on the uh, disc launcher, guys. It is almost identical. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I'm just shooting all over the place. I don't even need to aim correctly. You know, disc launcher, sure, it's normally like that. But the damage on this is nuts, guys. And trust me when I say this, I have disc launcher 8. And it's quite upgraded too. So I, you, you know, you're not talking about a completely unupgraded disc launcher 8 and me complaining about it. You know, I think most of the Mech Arena community will probably stand behind me and tell you that the Disc Launcher 8 was a complete disaster on the side of Mech Arena. Uh, and, you know, we were expecting either for them to upgrade it, you know, or en enhance it, right? But, you know, guys, this one is just nuts. Look at the damage on this. Look at that, guys. I just got a double kill. The Disc Launcher auto-targeting them, plus splitting into two <laughs> by itself, to target the two close mechs. So in, in some ways, man, I can even say that it has splash damage, okay? This is nuts, guys. This new weapon, this Launcher 12, is going to be the new meta for all kill shots, in my opinion, okay? And if you have it, great. If you don't, guys, you know, one way or another, at one point in time, you definitely want to get this Launcher 12, okay? Uh, this Launcher 8, I'm not a big fan. But this one, this Launcher 12, guys, like I said, I'm not gonna say anything else. I switched my kill shot weapon from Carbine 12, almost fully upgraded, six stars, straight to this launcher's 12 after my first game after obtaining it. One game. Look at that, guys. 13 kills, just like that. Okay? But obviously, if you want to use this on your kill shot, you would need to be rank 7. And I'm talking about six stars purple. So, it, yes, you would need to have a base mech. Uh, like kill shot to be able to do it, but you know what? I'll tell you honestly. I've seen some Aries with this Okay, and it was so deadly guys one more game and I'm going to show you and I think the games itself speak for itself Okay, this weapon is nuts now. Let me just give you a little bit of stats before we run in to the next weapon All right, here we go. This launcher 8 also at 5 stars for me I didn't upgrade it to rank it up, right? So that's the only difference uh, It's got six magazines and damage per shot is 2020, uh, 241, whatever. Anyways, the damage per magazine is 13,500, okay, basically. Now, look at this launcher 12. All right, it's got 21,756 damage per magazine. You got six magazines, okay. The fire rate uh, is a little bit quicker, right? Or is it a little bit slower, whatever it is. Now, let me compare this to another weapon. All right, so this is a Javelin 6, six star, guys. So in each magazine, you're doing 8,900 damage. And you guys know that Javelin Rack takes about one full magazine or two full magazines to take out your enemies, right? And that's 9,000 damage per magazine, right? Six, web, uh, six bullets inside. Now, look at this, guys. 21,800 for an auto-targeting, auto-guided weapon, okay? With a super quick reload. Guys, this is nuts. Let me actually look at the reload speed. 6.6 .6 seconds, Javelin Rack 6, 9.7 second, guys. Now imagine the destruction comes that comes with that weapon. In fact, let me just compare one more time with a Carbine 12, and let me just show you. Sure, Carbine 12 will have a very high um, damage, but I just wanna show you in what retrospect we're talking about here. Carbine 12 has 36,100 for 50 rounds that you have to shoot, which takes you about, what, 10 seconds to shoot all your 50, um, your entire magazine out, and it does 36,000, which is maybe 1.3 times of this launcher. On the other hand, guys, your this launcher 12 is doing one, you know, you know, two thirds of your carbine 12 damage in six magazines, which takes you very quick, right? I'm talking about like five seconds or four seconds to load out, dish out the entire magazine. So guys, this is an OP, truly OP weapon, okay? And I can't imagine, uh, you know, this weapon on a fully upgraded Ares, fully upgraded Guardian, every single mech 
that has the capacity to hold 24 energy uh, capacity will do great with that disc launcher 12. Uh, as you guys saw, I had to upgrade it to six stars, right? Uh, in order to dual wield it, but hey, I'll tell you right now, it was really worth it, guys. Uh, yeah, it cost a lot, but that weapon is definitely on the same level or maybe even above Carbine 12, in my personal opinion. And let me just show you how my play has changed with my kill shot. It has become so much easier. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I don't even see them. They don't even see me. Who cares? Look at that. Look at that, guys. It is nuts. And you know what? The disc launcher, a lot of you guys don't know because you know it, it looks like it takes a lot of time. Uh, sorry, it takes, uh, it's difficult to lock on to your enemies, but it has such a great range. You can actually target your enemies without locking on to them if you know how to aim correctly. So look at this damage, guys. Look at this damage. Look at how I'm just running around, okay? I don't even need to aim at them. Watch, that's a juggernaut, right? Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, boom, dead. I mean, guys, look at this thing, man. All I, and it especially works so great on kill shot for two reasons. First of all, like I said before, it the reload time is very closely aligned to the kill shot melee dash. Second, kill shot is fast at moving sideways, right? It has a very fast movement speed. So while I'm doing this, the opponents are trying so hard to target me. All right. In the meantime, look at me. All I'm doing is just moving side to side. So it is just so great for me to move around. Look at this guy. He's trying to aim at me. And all I'm doing is just moving sideways and shooting my, um, dis dishing out my dis, right? Look at that. All right, that's a guardian with a mortar. He's like, what should I do? Look on, look at this guys. I don't need to lock on to him. I can still hit him. That's, that it basically means that the dis launcher uh, range is not the same. Look at this guys. I'll show you me hitting him, okay? Here we go. Oh, I missed. Anyways, uh, I can even hit him without locking on. So for example, watch me. This is a lock on, okay? This is a lock on right here. If I get close, this is a lock on, but I'm gonna do it without the lock on. So right now I'm not locked on, right? All right, <laughs> that guy's behind the wall, I can't hit him. Anyways, you saw that guys? I'm not locked on and I can still hit him. What does that mean guys? You don't have to be locked on to hit. So if you can aim correctly and well, this disc launcher has a longer range than you think. Okay, so the range is great, okay? The reload time is fast, the damage is tremendous, okay? It is amazing damage, and it auto guides, and it has the same, or close to same, cooldown as your melee dash. So why would I not switch this over from Carbine 12, right? So once again, guys, this is the weapon of choice for now, okay? And in fact, I can tell you right now, guys, I think it will work great on Surge, I think it will work great on Redox. I think it will work great on Panther and every single mech. Okay, any mech that has the capacity to do at 24 energy will do excellent with the Disc Launcher 12. So I just want to say, yes, it was a super expensive pay to play um, content that was a new weapon developed by the Mech Arena team, okay, by Plarium. But I will tell you that they definitely outdid themselves in making the weapon OP. So I'm not sure how the free-to-play users will take this, but I will tell you right now, the the disc launcher is completely OP, and I really hope they don't, you know, nerf it or anything. But this weapon, guys, is a five out of five stars. Okay, this is the best weapon I think available for many of the mechs out there, including the heavy tanks. So guys, if you have the opportunity to get it, I would one thousand percent recommend you try to obtain this disc launcher, and if possible, try to do it for free. Okay, guys, uh, just note one more thing before I end it, guys. If you if you want to dual equip it, like me, you would need to upgrade it from the original of rank 5 to rank 6 in order to get the equip limit increase so that you can dual equip. Plus, obviously, as you guys know, the energy that you need is 12, so you would need a mech that has the capacity to do 24. Okay, guys, this was my review of the Disc Launcher 12. I hope you guys enjoyed, and once again, guys, Get ready for more content of me using this with my kill shot in the future. Okay, thank you guys. This was Honor Gaming.